Hello everyone, and let's continue this 50 state special featuring American dishes in Thailand. We are now in Oregon, and surprisingly this state is a lot more like the land of smiles than you might have expected. For example, behind me is the infamous Nana Plaza, which is more or less at the heart of the red light district in Bangkok. Now what has this got to do with Oregon? Did you know that Portland is home to the most strip clubs per capita in America? And much like Thailand, I'm assuming that not all tourists visit Oregon just for the scenery. However, if guests enjoy Mother Nature's bounty, the Beaver State has plenty to offer. Here's a shot I quickly took at one of the numerous beaches. I say quickly because it was January, the wind was strong, and it was freezing outside. Thailand also has tons of beaches. This one happens to be on one of my favorite islands called Ga Samet. I visited many times during the winter holidays, and I must admit that sometimes I didn't venture out into the ocean as it was just too chilly. Like Thais often say, same, same, but different. Thais also say Mai Bin Lai. Now let's let an expert explain what that means. Mai Bin Lai is mean for Thai people. If you do stuff, and you didn't get it or you didn't uh, did what you should do like we went to work late it mean my blind if you wanted to eat something you cannot find the stuff that you want to eat my blind another way of saying my bin lai is seen on this nike t-shirt that a local was wearing here in the village it is a great expression depending on which side of the fence you are on. I had always thought Nike shoes were an American thing. They may have been invented in America, and their headquarters is in Oregon, but the shoes are made elsewhere, even here in Thailand. Oregon can be confusing, but so can Thailand. What you see is not always what you think it is. I think most Oregonians are much like the majority of Thais in so much as they are laid back but both places have their odd quirks. Years ago, we were exploring Oregon and needed to fill up the car. I pulled into the gas station, got out, grabbed the hose, and placed the nozzle in the gas tank. About then, a worker comes running out, waving his arms and yelling, do you want to go to jail? Do you want to go to jail? My initial thought was, what is going on, Gomer? But I kept my mouth shut as he explained to me that in Oregon it was against the law to pump your own gas. It's not illegal in Thailand, but the attendants sure give you a nasty look if you try. The second way a few folks from Oregon are similar to many Thais is the way they drive, which is often way too fast. We were slowly traveling down this snowy road when a car quickly passed us. I told Dee to watch what was going to happen, and sure enough, Seemingly in slow motion, the person's car began to skid and then flipped into the ditch. We stopped to help and luckily no one was seriously injured. And if a person goes barreling down Thai country roads, they often end up with the same result. Luckily the driver was wet, but okay. Back in Oregon, we stopped and visited friends of ours, Dan and his family. Since we were in the area, he recommended that we visit the Frank Lloyd Wright House. In case you guys don't know who that is, he was a famous American architect. However, as luck would have it, the house was closed. Dan was just the opposite of me as he didn't have any bad habits and was a vegetarian. I rebuild old Thai houses and Dan was an internationally acclaimed architect and designed five-star hotels like the Shangri-La and the Banana Island Resort. We had initially met him in Bangkok and come to find out he also had a home in Oregon. Sadly, Dan passed away a few years back from cancer. He was a great guy and his house was unique. Hi, I'm uh, Dan Bube. I'm an architect and uh, we're currently selling our house, which, uh, which I designed. Uh, there's uh, quite a few personal details found throughout the house. This one actually was a mock-up unit, the frog wall. Uh, which actually has water that spills down. I don't have it turned on right now for this, but anyway, it uh, was done as a mock-up uh, for Shangri-La. Traditional Thai house has uh, a deck where you meet and greet people and uh, socialize as a family. 
but you can see there's also a pond that goes actually all the way around the house with a series of catfish and uh, different things in it. This is actually a solar chimney uh, which generates uh, wind upflow basically to run the wind generator. So when the wind is blowing you can see there's quite a bit of movement but on a still day even as today uh, the wind generator keeps moving because of the solar chimney. So because we always have heat in Thailand uh, the wind generator keeps moving because of this, this uplift. It's actually a frog sanctuary, as you can see as you look down. So there's something interesting to see and uh, a lovely sound. Now let's head back to Oregon. While we are here, let's stop and get a bite to eat. And here you go. Thanks for watching, and Washington will soon be on the horizon.